Do you have plans of moving to Hawaii and wondering what is the process to ship your car to Hawaii? Well, in this video, I'm gonna save you a lot of time, money, and headaches in showing you the step-by-step -step process on how to successfully ship your car out here to Hawaii. Stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. All right guys, like I mentioned before, in this video, we're gonna break down the step-by-step -step guide on how to ship your car successfully to Hawaii. Now, if you haven't seen my videos before, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Patrick Longley. I am a licensed real estate agent out here in Hawaii, helping people buy, sell, rent, and even moving to Hawaii. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I have my contact information right here, as well as connect with me on any of my social media platforms. Would love to hear from you. Anyways, let's step into the guide when it comes to shipping your car out to Hawaii. Let's jump into it. Step number one, select the company you wanna use. So when it comes to shipping your car out here to Hawaii, you can use a third party company that'll basically handle all the paperwork for you and do everything for you. But I have found that the cheapest and simplest solution to use is to directly contact one of the two major companies, which is Matson or Pasha. You can go to their website and basically fill out the application to ship your car and fill out all the information. So that's going to be step number one. Number three, select your shipment type. Now there are three different ways that you can ship your vehicle, some more popular than others and some way more expensive than others. So let's go through the order of them in least expensive to most expensive. The first one is port to port. This is basically when you would take your vehicle to one of the three ports that they have on the West Coast. That's going to be Oakland, LA, or Tacoma, Washington. And what you're going to do is take your vehicle to the port. You're going to fill out all the paperwork out there and give them your car. And then they're going to ship your car from that port to the port out here in Hawaii. Option two is door to port. That's when they would actually pick up your vehicle from your house, take it to the port nearest to you, and then ship it to Hawaii and you'd pick it up at the port there in Hawaii. Now, this is a great option for people who don't live near one of those three locations that I mentioned, but just expect an extra $1,000 plus added to the service. And option three is door to door. This is where they're gonna pick it up from your house on the mainland, ship it for you, and then drop it off at your house in Hawaii. Now this isn't a very popular option because it's extremely expensive and it's really not that difficult to just get down to Sand Island in Oahu and pick up the vehicle yourself. And there's a couple companies out there that do it, but just know that there's gonna be a hefty ticket item attached to it. Step number four, prepare your vehicle before shipping it. So there's a couple things you need to do to prepare your vehicle to ship it. The first one is, nothing can be in your car. I mean, nothing. There can't be car parts. There can't be clothes, household items. There can be nothing in your car and make sure that you don't leave anything in your car because if they find anything in your car, they're just going to toss it or they'll just tell you they're not going to ship the vehicle. So it's really important that you make sure you have nothing inside the car. The second thing is you want to make sure that you have little gas in the car. I believe it's about five to 25%. So basically like a quarter tank, make sure you check with the shipping company with how much gas you can have in their car. They have certain rules and regulations. So make sure you check that. Third thing is is double check that your battery works. The last thing you want is your battery to not work, the car doesn't start, and just you can't ship it. And number four is get your car washed or detailed. The reason why is Matson specifically, they don't want you bringing in any urban bugs or plants that may be attached to the vehicle or inside the vehicle. So it's important that you get it cleaned or detailed prior to shipping it. Step number five, hand over the keys. Now you've done all the preparation work, you've driven your car to the port if you're going with the port to port option, and it's now time for you to check in with the office and hand over the keys. And one little pro tip for you guys is before you hand over the keys and let them ship your vehicle over the Pacific Ocean, it's really Really important that you take photos inside but more importantly outside of the vehicle because when they show up with the vehicle they may have some damage it happens but you can get paid back for any of that damage but you need to have proof that they actually did it so those photos prior to it getting shipped will help you accomplish that step number six is pick up your car now your beautiful baby has made it across the Pacific Ocean and has arrived here in Oahu or Hawaii whichever island you're going to and if you're in Oahu you're gonna go to Sand Island to pick up your vehicle now a couple quick tips. The first thing is make sure you show up on time. I would suggest getting there early. There can sometimes be traffic because there's a lot of people going in and out, picking up their vehicles or picking up whatever container that they've shipped over to the island. So make sure you get there on time or preferably a little early. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the office and check in. Make sure you bring in all of your documentation and paperwork. Those documents you're going to need are your title, your registration, and a photo ID. Step number seven is the inspection process. So once you've checked in, you verify that you are the owner of the vehicle and they will bring it out. One of the shipping company reps will come out with your vehicle and you'll see it in its glory. And the first thing you're going to want to do is inspect the car. Look in 
inside and out, but once again, more importantly, on the outside and to verify that there's no damage to the car. If you do find some damage, bring it up right then and there and show them the photo and show them the damage and make sure that they report it, record it, and you have a copy of that report so that you can make sure that you're gonna get paid for any damage that they added to your vehicle. Okay guys, well that was pretty much the step-by-step -step process. Now let me go over a couple of those tips that I would suggest to save you a lot of time and headache. Tip number one is make sure you're organized and have all of your documentation. Like I mentioned before, you're going to need your title, your registration, a photo ID, and if you have a leased car or there's a lien on the car, you will need a notarized letter saying that it's okay for you to bring the vehicle over to Hawaii. Tip number two is get your car inspected prior to bringing it over here. It's important that your car is in sound shape before you even get to the shipping yard. And last thing you want is your car to crap out before you actually get into the container. So I would suggest you get it inspected by a mechanic prior to shipping it to Hawaii. Tip number three is make sure, once again, I can't reiterate this enough, take everything out of your car, nothing. They literally won't even have anything or want anything even in the glove box. So make sure you remove everything out of the car. And tip number four is turn off your car alarm. If you have one of those touchy car alarms, it's really important that you unplug that thing or just make sure that it's not functioning because the last thing you want is your car to be blaring in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So it's really important that you deactivate that car alarm if possible. Now that was a lot of information, but how much is it gonna actually cost to ship your car to Hawaii? Well, you're probably looking for a midsize or compact car, anywhere between $1,000 and $1,800. The prices can fluctuate, I'll go over that in a second, but that's generally what you're looking at in regards to cost. Now, like I said, the prices can fluctuate and some of those factors that will fluctuate the price are time of year. The summer months and January tend to be more expensive. Vehicle size, the larger the car, the more expensive. Type of transport, open transport is cheaper than enclosed transport. Delivery method, door-to-door -door service costs way more than port-to-port -port service. Destination, shipping to California costs less than shipping to the East Coast or Midwest. Direction, moving a car from Hawaii to the mainland is usually cheaper than the opposite direction. And last is price of fuel. If fuel is expensive, expect the car shipment cost to increase. Okay, now there is one last step to seal the deal is you will get your car and you're gonna get some documentation from the transportation office where they're basically gonna say, here's proof of transferring the vehicle over from the mainland to Hawaii. So what you're gonna wanna do is get that document and all the other documents, title, registration, driver's license, and you're gonna drive over to the DMV to register your vehicle. Now to register your vehicle out here in Hawaii isn't cheap. For a 2,500 pound car, you're probably looking between 300 and $600 a year. I know it's a bit pricey, but that's what it costs to drive your vehicle out here in Hawaii. Once you fill out all that paperwork, you will have to get a safety check. And you're probably wondering, what is a safety check? I've never had to do this. It's something we have to do here in Hawaii, but they're reasonably cheap and easy to find. Pretty much every other gas station does a safety check or every other mechanic does a safety check. It takes 10 to 15 minutes They go in. They make sure your horn works, your lights work, your blinkers work. Once they do that, you'll basically get signed off saying your car is ready to rock and roll. Then you'll go back to the DMV, give them the safety check, they'll verify it, and then you are good to go. Okay, guys. Guys, well, that pretty much wraps up the A to Z process when it comes to shipping your car out here to Hawaii. If you guys could do me a huge favor, if you could just smash that like button as well as click the subscribe and notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop videos like this, really helps with the algorithm and shows me that I'm actually pumping out these videos and people are actually liking it. So I'd really appreciate that. And while you're at it, if you guys have any questions about moving out to Hawaii, whether you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or even just simply move out here and you have some questions, feel free to connect with me. Got my contact information right here, or you can follow me or send me a direct DM on any of my social media platforms. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm Patrick with PatrickLawnRealty.com, powered by EXP Realty. Hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.